For many years, Ultra has been at the forefront of research and development in water mist applications. I believe we're always ahead of innovation here anyway. Uh, we know what's coming through the British standards and legislation. Uh, our clients expect us to know that information. We've been heavily involved with the BRE, Building Research Establishment. That's really in terms of testing our nozzles. It's only now that we're starting to see the first products that are actually fully tested and applied. Because we're customer driven, the customer has a fire problem. They ask us to actually provide the solution. There's a lot more emphasis now on doing bespoke systems suitable to the client's needs. In the majority of cases, this actually pushes new boundaries to the water mist and how you can use it. So therefore we have to go to places like the building research establishment in Watford to use their burn hall. I've been along to the building research establishment myself and actually seen these products tested. So I know that they work. It gives the customer the confidence of installing a system which operates to their expectations. Insurers will also like the test data that we provide. Here we've got 110 years of development in a sprinkler. When you actually look at things, this hasn't been tested in laboratory conditions very much. It's been tested on live fires. So insurers have got a, a test history on live fires. Water mist nozzle, which is a fraction of the size, doesn't have that history, so we have to test to make sure that we're the same as, or better, than the sprinkler. If you imagine that you're, you're out on bonfire night, you can actually stand quite close to quite a large fire. It's not going to affect you at all. Smoke kills more people than fire. So if you can control the smoke levels and the gaseous levels in that room, that person can survive longer. By using a water mist system, they have very, very small droplet sizes, which means that it entrails with the smoke, which means that it starts to bring the smoke actually down. So you start to get a clearing of the smoke from that upper area. It would actually make the room survivable. Castellook are the leading construction company within the care sector business. We've built well over 160 care homes to date, along with 3,000 care apartments. Ultra are one of several companies we use to provide sprinkler and mist systems within our business. The difference between a mist system and a sprinkler system is the amount of water that you are confronted with. A drenched system would give the, the aspect of going through a frightening area, whereas a mist system is just exactly that, just a mist. Something you don't have very often in a fire when you're trying to escape it's time. If we can put time into a situation, we can make sure that people can evacuate that building safely. The traditional approach to buildings was to incorporate passive fire protection wherever possible. Now what that would mean would be that typically you'd have multiple fire doors to protect the um, staircase. If the door is left open, then it has no benefit whatsoever. So when people talk to me about, well, why are you specifying an active system rather than passive system? Because I genuinely believe that there's more chance of the active system kicking in and working than there is of the fire door actually being closed when it's needed. Water mist generally contains a lot less water than a sprinkler system. The sprinkler is going to be discharging approximately 85 to 90 litres a minute. The damage they do can actually ruin the structure of a building by corrosion taking place. With a water mist, it's a really, really fine system. Um, you could literally walk through it, you come out feeling mildly damp, but you're not actually going to come out soaking wet. Afterwards, there's a lot less clean-up and a lot less disruption to the client. Most of the sprinklers are you going to see in this pendant. This will be hanging from the ceiling, and most people are familiar with this particular type of, of head. When we compare it to a concealed or side wall head, you can see the difference straight away, really. Very discreet, and also you can colour code it uh, to your decoration. From an architectural point of view, it's far more likely to be approved by the client. It makes it a lot easier for us to get through, not only the statutory approval, but also the client approval. We've got a system which can, under test conditions, we proved conclusively that that can save lives. The water mist system encompasses the whole fire in a, in a fog of water, changing its state from a liquid to a gas. It takes the heat out of the fire, and the fire then, the core temperature of the fire remains the same, but the temperature adjacent to that is safer.